The National Solidarity Party has outlined the main issues it wants to focus on if elected. And these include affordable public housing, no further GST hikes, and zero GST for basic necessities, as well as protecting local professionals, managers, executives, and technicians or PMETs. It also wants to revisit the India-Singapore Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement, or SICA. We are looking at ways to ensure local PMET have a level playing field for employment with the foreign talent brought about by SICA. In the, in the agreement, is found to cause a disadvantage for our local BMETs into the workforce, we will push to abolish that particular agreement. At the constituency level, the party says it wants to implement a Tampanese town development plan. The 14-point plan includes a focus on providing jobs for residents, setting aside the MP's allowance to help fund the basic needs of the underprivileged and infrastructure development. This may include more raised house for the visually impaired. Ramps meant for people with disabilities shall be also constructed to provide a soft ambient rather than a rigid zigzag formation with concrete walls. Two, building of elderly friendly facilities in housing and common spaces, including grab bars, low rise steps, pair of rising stool every 150 meter along main walkways with covered shelter. NSP thanks supporters in Tampanese GRC who have stood by them all these years and called on residents to help them build a kampong spirit in the constituency. Everyone knows better that it is an uphill task for all alternative parties to compete against the ruling party. But we are standing forward to allow residents to have a voice, a choice. We respect the decision of the voters who had not voted us. But we hope you can have a chain of heart come polling day on 10 July.